myself filming in this one. saved bags. I originally wanted to make my own wreath. Everyone has been posting these candy cane wreaths that they made, you know, in a candy cane shape. They bought the metal frame mold thing from Dollarama, but I couldn't find any at Dollarama. So I'm going to call, there's two Dollaramas in the city, so I'm going to call the other one and see if maybe they have it, because I know not all Dollar, sorry, Dollar Tree. I know not all Dollar Trees stock the same items, so I'm really, really hoping that the other one has this candy cane frame, because it is the main DIY project that I wanted to do this year, is to hang up on our door. I've never, I hear Zeppelin coming down the hall. I'm in the bedroom. He's watching his Mother Goose show. Hey, bud. Here he comes. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Come to join the party. Do you want to see what Mama made you? I'm going to make Zeppelin's sensory bin. We got a bunch of like little bells and things. We can, you know, play with them and shake them and put them in his mouth. I can get anything little, like tiny pom poms or anything that he can choke on, but. He really likes the Christmas ornaments and things, so I figured I'd not get a specific set of Christmas things that he can play with. So that's what we're going to do. Got this bin. It comes with a red lid, so we don't have to use any of our Tupperware and like possibly get it ruined. Or... He will take the stuff out and refill it with, you know, different holiday themed items. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make a bunch of different sensory bins and keep them over time. So next Christmas we can take it out and add to it. Or maybe we will just use this one sensory bin and just refill it as the seasons change. And okay, so I'm just gonna set this down. This is the first item that we are going to put in the sensory bin. Mesh tubing. I got a gold color. There. See? Nope. These things are always twisted so weird. Like, you gotta twist one way and then you gotta twist the other way. I don't know how they do it, but it always confuses me when I'm trying to undo them. There we go. Um, what else? One more thing. These. It's got some ornament garland. Ornament garland, it says. Six feet. It's got gold chains and red ornaments. And there you have it. Christmas sensory bin with some gold tubing, candy canes, red ornaments on a gold beaded garland chain, a bell for love, and the green ornaments. What else? So yeah. Now Zeppelin's got something to play with while we are decorating. Put it with the rest of his toys. See? Actually, I'm going to put a lid on it for now so he doesn't just tear everything out right away. Peasy lemon squeezy. Zeppelin, look what mommy made you. Uh oh. Look. Yeah, that's for you, bud. <laughs> This wreath has some lights on it already, as you can see there. Um, I'm guessing I need to just pop some new batteries in here. But I decided I wanted to spruce it up a bit instead of just hanging it up the way it is. So I got 
this sparkly bow. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to put it on there somewhere. And I might also put some more ornaments on there. Maybe red, maybe another color. I haven't quite decided yet. So another trip to Dollar Tree is in order. I, I just wanted to wait until, you know, I didn't want to buy half of stuff that I needed for a project and then not be able to find the other half later. So I only got all the things I needed for certain projects. And then there's a couple projects like the wreath where I didn't get anything that I needed because I wasn't sure if I would find half later or not. So I didn't want to waste money getting, you know, a bunch of ribbon and then end up not using it later. So yeah, that's what's going on here. So I'm making these Christmas gifts and hanging the decorations and things. I'm thinking I might do kind of like a tutorial walk through, walk along or whatever while I'm making the crafts. Just so you can kind of see what I'm doing and maybe if you want to make things for your family or friends then you can follow these easy easy steps I promise it's nothing too hard and yeah right Zeppelin nothing too hard what you got there oh yeah he's got these lights see this is a pack of 10 lights with battery sorry bud so what I'm planning on doing with those lights I've got a pack of these gift bags and you can see how I chose ones with Christmas tree on purpose I was originally looking for ones with like a house on it with windows because I'm going to put these these into these frames and then I'm going to take those lights and I'm going to poke holes through the bag and stick the lights through so that when I frame the gift bag the lights will shine through and it'll just look like a lit up photo basically so the bags are a little bit big so I'm going to have to trim the sides but this is the closest size I could find to that so hopefully it works thing that I made kind of like a centerpiece I think I'm gonna move it to the kitchen table later but I had a bunch of pine cones that my mom gave me last year that we didn't really do anything with so I decided I wanted to do a craft with them this year um, I still have a ton of them left I coated them in cinnamon and baked them so there weren't any like I don't know leftover germs or whatever and they smell nice I actually got this glass vase thing from the neighbor upstairs a friend Brooke I was commenting about how she had some short ones with things in them and I was saying how I wanted to get a tall one for the pine cones and stuff and then she just opened up her cupboard and whipped one out and was like, here you can use this and I was like, wow, what do you know? I, those are something I always see at the Dollar Tree but I never get because I don't know what to get them for. So I don't want to just buy a bunch of stuff and not know what I'm going to do with it. So yeah, I got that from Brooke and I had the pine cones already so I got these this like red and brown potpourri thing that smells like apple cinnamon. And I don't know if you can really see, I also got some fake grapes in there with a the little bit of green. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. And this I think I got for a Christmas gift a couple of years ago and I haven't really put it up. So going on in that window there. And over here I just kind of have um, this Grinch painting that I did. I finished it a couple days ago. And over here, I haven't actually decorated yet right now. It's kind of just got Mother's and Father's Day stuff. Okay, so I just have a little bit more decorating left that I want to do. This is kind of just our messy box of uh, decorating stuff and gift bags, boxes, wrapping paper, and things like that. So I still have to go through a bunch of that stuff. Tonight is Friday, and Nipin and Yiko are coming over for Yiko's birthday celebration. His birthday was yesterday, so... They're coming over to play a game of Risk, and I said I'd make some food, so we got these bone-in dry, I guess they're not dry, maybe they're dry ribs still? I don't know, bone-in ribs, little ones, kind of, 
from Costco. So it'll be our first time trying those. So hopefully they're meaty and delicious. I wanted the boneless ones, but Breton wanted the ones with the bone in and we couldn't find any boneless ones. So I pretty much just had to give in and say, okay, fine, whatever, get the bone in one. So I hope they're good. I know that meat with the bone in is generally more flavorful, but I like to just shove it all in. I don't want to have to work out the bone through the middle or whatever. <laughs> That's just the gluttony in me speaking, but yeah. So we're gonna make those dry ribs, or ribs, whatever. And I'm also going to make some breadstick dough, put some cheese on it and cut that up. And yeah, we also got, we got a giant tub of cream puffs, like two and a half pounds, I think it was for like $8 at Costco. And we've got some strawberries and grapes and banana. So if anyone's craving a sweet treat, I'm going to make some cream puff and fruit, like kebabs for dessert. Oh yeah. We also got this happy birthday banner for $1.25 from Dollar Tree. I figured why not make him feel special for his birthday for $1.25. It's worth more than that, I think. Someone's happiness and excitement and, you know, whatever. The bottom half of me there. We decorated the mirrors too with some little Klingon sticker things. They're nursing through the strings. So I just washed my hair, that's why it's all wet. I am wrapping one of Breton's Christmas presents. I am going to be showing you how to do reindeer wrapping paper. Super easy, you only need a couple of things. First off, you need a roll of uh, packing paper, just like this brown stuff. And I'm using a red button for my nose. It's just a small box, so I took a big red button. You can use a red pom-pom. So I got my glue to stick that on, and I've got tape to wrap up the present, scissors to cut the paper, and a black Sharpie. I actually lent out my black Sharpie. I'm using this really dark blue one, but it doesn't really matter. Dark brown, brown, black, whatever, to paint on the reindeer face. Okay, all nice and wrapped. Now we flip it over, and we're gonna draw the face. There's googly eyes, so I'm actually gonna use that instead. I'm just trying to figure out which button I want to use and what size of eyes to make it look the best. It only needs a little bit of glue so it won't slide around a bunch. That might even be a little bit too much. So... But now they both got some glue. Can't get the light but proper in here, I'm sorry, but there's the eyes. And I did the antlers, this one maybe... Oh, just a tiny bit. Oosh. Be careful. See, there. Now the nose. That's good. Cool. There you have it. Reindeer wrapping paper. <laughs> this is a sensory bin I just finished making for Zeppelin. It's just a bunch of green and red rice for our Christmas. So basically what I did was just mix some rice in a Tupperware container with a bit of white vinegar and some food coloring and I shook it up and then I laid it out on a cookie sheet. Left them to dry for a couple of hours and then I dumped them in here and I grabbed a couple of spoons and things so that Zeppelin can just kind of play with the rice. Obviously this is going to be supervised because he could throw a handful of this in his mouth and choke on it and I definitely do not want that. <laughs> so yeah. Try to make what works work. <laughs> 